Good morning, everybody. So we are still in a crazy market up here in New England where it is a seller's market, but sellers, I think, unless they're very aggressively priced, are getting a little taste of the market leveling out. And we still, I mean, I don't know. I wrote some offers this weekend still. Actually, I've wrote, written a lot of offers over the last week, and um, it's still a seller's market, so buyers still have to be aggressive. So I have written down my pile of nonsense. Um, I've written down some things that will, some strategies that we've used over this last week to kind of help buyers. Now, I'm still waiting to hear on these offers, so I don't know if... Um, better offers came in, but these are the things that we, we're doing. So we're still using an escalation clause, which is a way for you to basically not bid against yourself as a buyer. If a house is listed for $200,000 and you're like, I'll pay two seventy-five dollars for it, you could offer two seventy-five, dollars but essentially, if nobody else offers that much, you have bid yourself up to two seventy-five. dollars an escalation clause allows you to bid 200, 225, whatever it is, and then say, but I will beat anybody else's offer up to 275 by a certain amount. So $2,000, $1,000, $5,000, whatever that increment is, that's what an escalation clause does. We're still using them. Some agents hate to deal with them. Some agents don't mind. Um, I think if you're really good at explaining it to your sellers and you've got spreadsheets and ways for them to see it very clearly, it's a great tool and it's something that listing agents should use. I certainly um, accept them and uh, encourage them in my transactions. So escalation clause. Another thing is very aggressive terms. So I'm talking about the shortest close date that you can, if that's what's important to the sellers, you should always ask what's the most important elements to the sellers in a transaction. Um, in the state of Maine, we actually put in there, in our financing contingency, an interest rate, so not to exceed this rate. Now, because rates are climbing and we don't know what they're going to wind up at, uh, some, I'm seeing people put a number in there. Back in the day, we used to just put current. So I would be, um, I'm encouraging my clients, if they can, to be aggressive with that. And you wanna make sure with their lender that they're actually approved. Sorry, I'm talking like I'm talking to agents. You wanna make sure with your lender that if the rate goes up to 8%, you can still afford this property based on the taxes and blah, blah, blah. Um, so be aggressive with the interest rate. If you are having an inspection, which is recommended 100% of the time, I really don't think anybody should be waiving inspections unless you're a professional building inspector yourself. Put a short time on it. Put a couple of days. Get an inspector. Inspectors aren't that busy right now. Get one on the horn before you even go see it and say, hey, can you do an inspection on this property in three days? Put a short inspection time so the sellers know that they're gonna get a response to inspections right away on this. If you have a house to sell, so I have a lot of buyers that were in the market this summer when it was really crazy they um, got offers on their houses and couldn't put anything under agreement. They either couldn't find something or just couldn't get anything under agreement. So wound up having to pull their houses off the market. Happened with a couple of my listings. So they're back in the market now and they still have a house to sell. We are making offers with home sale contingencies, but our home sale contingency is rock solid and also super aggressive. Marketing's already been done. I can literally click a button, their house is on the market. Um, Pricing more aggressively than we did this summer. Uh, I had a condo in Dover that we had priced at $299 this summer. $299? $399? Whatever. One of the two. Um, we're putting it, when we put it back on the market, we're cutting it down to $285. So we're very aggressively pricing. We're putting very short dates in our home sale contingencies. So for buyers, it's really important to still be very aggressive. Things I don't recommend are writing a letter because we actually think that that may, might be a violation of fair housing um, or anything like that. I saw some agent, uh, and this is other, I, I look at real estate everywhere in this country and I'm seeing it in other parts of the country like buyers doing videos. Don't do that. There is just, I think there's just a lawsuit waiting to happen with anything like that. So put your best foot forward, be as aggressive as you can, make sure that you're really well qualified and you're well qualified if rates continue to go up and good luck. I think that we're gonna see, we always see an influx of listings the third week in February. That is just, 
I've been doing this for 13 years. The third week in February is always the most listings that really come on the market in this whole area. So we're getting there. We're getting there really quickly, guys. Those people are already thinking about listing their homes right now. <laughs> so if you, um, have, if you have any real estate questions, need any help, anything, you can send me a text, 207-251-9535. If you're watching this on Facebook, you can send me a message and I'm very responsive. Have a great Tuesday. Feels like Monday to me. 